Good morning. What is a very powerful test to tell who is a true and who is a false prophet? Our reading today is from Jeremiah chapter 28, verses 5 through 9. Then the prophet Jeremiah spoke to the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and in the presence of all the people who stood in the house of the Lord. And the prophet Jeremiah said, Amen. The Lord do so. The Lord perform your words which you have prophesied to bring back the vessels of the Lord's house and all who were carried away captive from Babylon to this place. Nevertheless, hear now this word that I speak in your hearing and in the hearing of all the people. The prophets who have been before me and before you of old prophesied against many countries and great kingdoms of war and disaster and pestilence. As for the prophet who prophesies of peace, when the word of the prophet comes to pass, the prophet will be known as one whom the Lord has truly sent. So Jeremiah indicates how he wishes that the prophecies that Hananiah has uttered would come true. You can check yesterday's morning's devotional on that. But then he goes on to warn all those who are listening, and there's a crowd listening. He warns them about a very powerful test that all of them and that you and I can employ to tell the difference between a true and a false prophet. And it's not a very complicated test. Does the prophecy come to pass or does it not come to pass? Does the thing the prophets say happen or does it not happen? Kind of simple. Now, this kind of test doesn't fit every kind of true or false prophecy because some prophecies are conditional. But Hananiah has done an interesting thing here. Hananiah hasn't really put in any conditions. In fact, what he's done is he's put himself on a timer. Two years, that's within two years, this is going to happen, da-da-da-da-da. So there you have quite a good way to test about whether Hananiah's prophecies ever come true or not. And there's a sense in which Hananiah did put a condition there. He put himself under a condition of time, two full years on this prophecy. So if it doesn't come true within two full years, then obviously Hananiah's credibility as a prophet is over, done, gone. So when prophecy comes to pass, there is its validation. When it doesn't happen, you've got to go back to the drawing board. Somebody uttered a false prophecy. This is a very important test for us to remember today because the Bible warns us that in the last days there will be many false prophets and false teachers. Not that they're going to become less and decrease, but instead they're going to be more and they're going to increase. False teachers, false prophets. So keep in mind this test, you and I both, whenever we're faced with a question about whether something is a true or a false prophecy. Not too complicated. God is wonderful that way. It gives us a lot of things that are easy to work with if only our heart is ready to receive God's answers instead of our own. And now it's time to pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for being serious about prophecy. It would be a useless way of working if you didn't guard us and give us tests and ways to tell the true apart from the false. And so, Lord, we understand that you're serious. There are many pages in your scripture that show us you're serious about prophecy. You're reading the days of the future off to us from the past so that we will know that you are God. And so help us to pay close attention to these things so that we can understand what is true in our world and what is false. Oh, Lord, thank you for the prophet Jeremiah. Help us to be as faithful, although we are not prophets, help us to be as faithful as he is in your service. And so, Lord, we pray and ask for this in this help in Jesus' name. Amen. So we thank God for providing helps like this, the Jeremiah test of the true or false prophet. God be with you today.